to tell us what we're on the verge of at Oakwood University. Thank you. There are many things that we could talk about at Oakwood University. I push this slide up, please. Many, many things, but I want to zero in just on one of the things that we're focused on today. I could tell you about industry recovery. I could tell you about the dollars that are rolling in through our grants program. I could tell you about our dual enrollment program that we have with various academies as young people are making their way to Oakwood. I could tell you about OU Care, which has reduced the cost of attending university by 66%. I could tell you about all of those things. But what I want to do today is I want to go deeper. I want to just talk about one thing. I didn't bring all of our employees because that would be 100 faculty and more than 200 staff, and there'd be no room for us. But I brought one special group of people, the nurses of Oakwood University. And they are joined by the administrators of Oakwood University who are here with us today, the President's Council. So let me just walk you through very quickly something that has happened. We're on the verge of something. We're on the verge of something wondrous. Um, Oakwood University is committed to its strategic plan, which is called Vision 2030. And in Vision 2030, there are a number of different elements, industry, business, et cetera. But at the heart of the plan is academics. Academics, that's the business that we are mostly in. We are in the business of shaping lives. Did you know that when you think about Oakwood, you have to also think about its founding, and you also have to think about the fact that nursing was one of the original programs at Oakwood University. It, as a matter of fact, in 1909, the first graduating class was composed of five nurses. We didn't know that, did we? Oakwood University in nursing has had a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous history. Uh, this is a picture. I love to go back into the archives. That picture is from 1920. Those are nurses at Oakwood University seated in front of, what, what does that building look like? Can anybody tell? That's East Hall. There they, Norman, that's your building there. That's, that's, that's where they're seated, right? So let me tell you something. Let me just walk you through where we've been in our journey on nursing, because I want to move quickly. Uh, first of all, um, when we think about nursing, we can think about it historically, but we can also think about the way nursing looks today. This is very, very different from the way it was way back then. And you can see these wonderful young people across the years who have graduated from our nursing program. Well, we came to a crossroads recently, and I want to tell you what God did, because we want to give God the glory for what he did. On September 9, we had to make a very crucial decision. It was a decision around intentionality. And so the university had to take a calculated risk, a step of faith. The preceding years of our NCLEX scores had flattened to 50%. And in order to be accredited fully, one has, to, at least in the National Association, one had to be at 50%, I mean, excuse me, at 80% across the last three years. And so we had a big decision to make. We consulted with the Nursing Accrediting Association. They looked at what we were doing and they said, okay, you've got some wonderful options here. Which one do you want to exercise? We exercised the reset option because we knew that excellence is our calling and 50% just wouldn't do it, and that's what we did. And we met with our faculty and our staff and others, our deans, and that, we, we began to do some work and we began to say, okay, what are we gonna do? The faculty went to work, they trained, they worked, and thank God for the faculty of Oakwood University. They did tremendous work. Um, and so the class of 2022, um, as of January 4, 2023, um, this team has worked nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> nothing short of a miracle. To God be the glory. And the story gets greater. As they open their arms to students from every walk of life, Pastor Ibarra, where is Isaac? Isaac is back, there he is. Isaac is the special assistant to the president for diversity and inclusion, a two-time graduate of Oakwood University, a little boy raised in Cuba, father imprisoned because he, he stood up for the Seventh-day Adventist faith. Well, he recruited a student, and, and it's just a minute, Pastor, but I'd like everybody to just hear her story, and then on the backside of that, we've got some tremendous news. My name 
is Giselle Campos, and I graduated from Oakwood this past May, 2022. I was a biology major, and right now I want to take a brief moment and tell you a little bit about my Oakwood story and what God has done for me. Before Oakwood, my life was very, very different. Um, due to financial instability and my mom becoming sick, I had to drop out of high school, um, took some years to work and help my mom out. And even after finishing my high school degree, I really couldn't imagine at that moment having the opportunity to go to college. But because of the work of diligent people, such as Pastor Ibarra, I found out about Oakwood and honestly, my life was changed. God brought me to Oakwood. He helped me through Oakwood. And by his grace, I was able to graduate with a 4.0 GPA and I was accepted into four different Masters of Nursing programs, including Johns Hopkins and Vanderbilt University. Um, at the moment, I am a student at Augusta University. I am pursuing my Masters in Nursing and I have received a full ride scholarship for my studies. And I say all this to just encourage you to trust God, to trust his calling for your life and just know that Oakwood is a place where God moves. Oakwood has changed my life and Oakwood can change yours as well. God bless you guys. Amen, amen. Now, brothers and sisters, let me just tell you what on the back side of that, let me tell you some of the wonderful news that has happened. And I want to stand, I want to stand with Principal Dent. Oakwood Academy, Oakwood Elementary, we need donors. Come on, say amen, somebody. Come on, the Bible says the cattle upon a thousand hills are mine. So God says all the dollars are mine, and there's more than enough. And so I'm grateful for the appeal, and we trust that you will, will really open your hearts and your minds. Not only does Oakwood need your support, but, but they do as well. Well, let me tell you about some support that we've gotten from the Canyon family. The Canyon family set up a nursing endowment. They had set a goal of $1 million for the endowment. They're at now about $900,000. Come on, say amen, somebody. When Dr. Canyon heard the strategy for what nursing was going to do, he said, okay, Dr. Pollard, I'm going to add another $100,000 to my commitment. But he said, I'm going to do it this way. He said, I'm going to do it as a challenge for someone else to match it with $100,000. I got a text yesterday from our chief financial officer that the $100,000 had been matched. Now, this is the purpose for those funds. First of all, for nurses, anyone considering nursing, the place you need to study is Oakwood. That's where you need to study. So, because, right, for instance, the dollars will be used for scholarships. The dollars will be used for income, uh, for NCLEX prep. And there's even a student incentive for passing the NCLEX on the first attempt. Oakwood Pastor is on the verge of something. We're on the verge of transforming our nursing program into one of the premier nursing programs in the United States, a world-class nursing program for our world-class students. So I heard, Pastor, you baptized Olivia. Uh, where, where's Olivia? <laughs> oh, she's getting dressed. Uh, I make a motion that Olivia redirect herself to Oakwood University. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I <laughs> So we'll see if we can help her. And so... Pastor, we thank you so much. We're on the verge of something stupendous. I can give you example after example like this. But the last thing I would want to leave with you is this. Success has an address. It's Oakwood University. God bless you.